To change the belt, you will need to remove the rear wing, tail lights, rear bumper cover, and airbox. For additional assistance with all these tasks, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. You do not need to remove the cover over the alternator in idle or pulley to remove or replace the belt, Blue Arrow. If you are removing the belt and reinstalling it, make sure to mark the direction of the belt travel indicated by the red arrow. If you are just checking it, you can loosen the tensioner and rotate the belt around the pulleys. If you are removing it, you will first need to remove the 16mm bolt and spacer, red arrows, that connects the engine carrier to the engine. Using the space between the engine carrier and the rear frame cross member, you can loosen the bolt. You can also use the access hole and use a 16mm socket with a long extension and remove the bolt, red arrow. The bolt will come out through the access hole in the frame cross member indicated by the red arrow. With the bolt removed, you can remove the spacer, red arrow. You may need to tap it out with a soft wooden block and a mallet. Place a 30mm wrench on the hexagon nub on the tensioner lever, blue arrow, and turn the nub clockwise as far as it will go. This will loosen the belt. There is no lockout, so do not get your fingers between the belt and the tensioner. Slip the belt off of the tensioner, red arrow. Slide the belt flat side up past the coolant pump pulley. Turn the drive belt 90 degrees and guide the flat side past the vibration balancer and remove it. There is very little room between the belt and the carrier and accessories. You will need to work both above and below the engine. When installing the new belt, begin by turning the belt sideways and slipping it between the carrier and the vibration dampener. If at any point damage happens to the belt while installing it, stop and replace it with a new belt. Position the belt on the running track on the vibration dampener, orange arrow. Guide the belt to the left past the coolant pump pulley, yellow arrow not visible. Then guide the belt through the very small area between the pulley and the engine carrier. Fit the belt under the idler pulley, green arrow, and over the air conditioning compressor, blue arrow. Then pre-position it on the roller, purple arrow. It's a 30 millimeter wrench and turn the tensioner fully clockwise and slip the belt onto the tensioner. Release the tensioner and check the belt's position on all the pulleys. Installation of all other components is the reverse of removal and torque the carrier bolt to 65 newton meters or 48 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.